Hello Aquarians, welcome back to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the week of November 30th to December 7th. This reading is for all of my Aquarians out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of November 30th room December 7th if you are a returning viewer welcome back if this is your first time stopping by you are welcome to stay if you find that this reading resonates with your story your situation I ask that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thank you to all of my new subbies. I am grateful. God said if you are faithful, faithful over a few, I will bless you with plenty. So I am grateful to all of my new subscribers as well as the subscribers that I am that will be coming on later or as time go on so you're starting out with the king of swords you have the king of swords i'm going to be doing the celtic cross spread you have the hierophant here taurus energy could be done with the taurus or have taurus in your chart I think I'm gonna have to move that down. Yeah. All right, what is the past energy for my Aquarians? What is the past energy for my Aquarians? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio energy. Okay. I just want to make sure all of the cards are visible. Okay. What is the immediate pace energy? Okay. So we have the Knight of Wands. Your overall energy is the death card, Scorpio energy. Future energy. What is the future energy for my Aquarian sun? Moon rising. Okay, we have the magician, Gemini, Virgo energy. I think I need a bigger table <laughs> or either. I'm going to have to rearrange this, um, this table. What are your fears, Aquarius? Okay. The King of Wands. The King of Wands. How do I just see you? Okay. We have the Knight of Cups. What are you hoping for, Aquarius? What is the sign of Aquarius hoping for? Seems like it's loud. 
What are you hoping for, Aquarius? Okay. The Ace of Swords. And what is your outcome? Spirit, what is the outcome for the sign of Aquarius? What is the outcome for the sign of Aquarius? Okay, we have two cards that came out. We have the Three of Cups in a reverse. The Three of Cups in a reverse with the Five of Cups. Okay. So, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles. So, I feel like, I feel like at this time you could be drowning and you could feel like you're sinking. Like you're trying to maintain balance. Could be financially or in love, but I feel like I feel like I feel like you have a decision to make and you you don't really know which you don't really know what you want to do at this time and I feel like it's it's causing some type of emotion and it's kind of like if you don't make the right decision, you can sink. You could. I, I'm thinking that the saying is sink or swim. But you want to remain on top of the water. You don't want to sink. But I feel like. I feel like you're going to stand. And I feel like the the um turbulence No, not the turbulence. Um I'm thinking about an airplane. Some of you could be going on vacation or taking a trip somewhere, but I feel like you are um the tidal waves. You're going to be able to um, survive, and you're going to swim instead instead of sink. Okay. Um. Right now, you with this King of Swords. This is your energy. You are, um, Aquarians are usually, um, very intellectual people. You could have on your mind, um, because I'm looking at the two swords in his hands. And I'm still thinking and feeling that this has something to do with the decision that needs to be made, like, And it's like, on one hand, you're not really worried about it. But then on the other hand, you're thinking about it. Like, it, the, the, the decision that you have to make is still there. And it's, um, it's like, what, what am I going to do? Like, you're in your own thoughts. This could have something to do with um, the government, um, some type of institution, work, um, 
could have something to do with a relationship, a marriage, long-term commitment. Um, but I feel like you, you know that the decision that you make is going to be serious to, it's going to be like a serious, um, decision because it's going to be, it's going to change your life. With the Hierophant here, this is Taurus energy. You could be getting advice from a Taurus or getting advice from someone that you look to as an authority figure. Or you, this decision has to do with um, a marriage, a long-term commitment, or a relationship. That's what's influencing these thoughts. In the past, with the Queen of Cups in a reverse... You could have walked away from love, may not be thinking about love at this time or in the past you weren't thinking about it. You didn't accept someone's cup of love. Could have been because um, this person with the Knight of Wands could have been in and out of your life. They were off and on, didn't really know what they wanted. <clears throat> didn't really know what, where they were going. Um, yeah, and I feel like because they didn't know where they was, where, where they were going, that this caused you, this put a death to the relationship. If this is pertaining to finances, again, you could have been um, seeking advice from someone pertaining to your finances, and you could have turned your back on something that you loved or something that you loved um, or could have turned their back on. Something, something is that you used to love is not there anymore. And with that um, Knight of Wands, it's like you could be wandering around trying to figure out what it is that you want. And this is this is if this is pertaining to finances. Because this really can go either way. But, um... Yeah, so with the death card, something was put to death. It could have been a relationship, um, something with your finances. And now it's, it's resulting in you going through a transformation or some type of transition. This is Scorpio's energy. Could be done with a Scorpio or a Scorpio in your chart. But you're going through some type of transfer, transformation or a transition in your life at this time and in your immediate future i feel like you're manifesting you're trying to manifest something with the magician card and you have all of the tools to manifest whatever it is that you want but i feel like with this king of wands you're afraid to take action you feel like it's not going to work out um you just, you're you're not taking action at this time. And that's what this decision is. That's what the decision is. Because you're, you're thinking about taking action, but you really haven't decided on if you want to take action. So someone in your environment with the Knight of Cups is hoping that you move forward and do what you love to do. could be hoping that um see they could be seeing you as moving forward but you're not taking action at this time you're afraid to take action to go out on your own to um
you're afraid to do something on your own. So you're not taking action. Now, with the Ace of Wands here, with the Ace of Wands, I'm sorry, the Ace of Swords, you, um, you're hoping, and this is your energy, you're hoping that you can get, um, the truth and clarity. Like, you're hoping the universe gives you a clear answer on which way to go, what to do, which way to go, so that these chains can be broken. Because you, I feel like you, you feel confined now, and that's why you're not taking action. You feel confined, but you're confined in your own thoughts. And you're looking to the universe for clarity on making this decision. And you have the three of cups in a reverse. So, this doesn't have anything to do with anyone else. This is you. Not making a decision, not taking action. Because you are you're you don't really know what it is that you want to do. And it's causing you to feel like you've lost something or you feel disappointed. Because you're only looking at... I feel like you're looking at... Things that could have been, should have been, and would have been. But you're not looking behind you or turning your back to look to see what else there is for you. And, and that's why you can't make the decision. And um, you can't move forward because you're stuck in your own head about what it is that you want to do. Why is this Five of Cups here for my Aquarians? Where did that card go? I hate when the cards fall on the floor. Ah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See, we have the world card in a reverse. The world card in a reverse. Like, you want something to come full circle, but it's not. It's not coming full circle. And I feel like it's not coming full circle because... You're in your head. You're waiting for something to be illuminated to you with this sun card. Leo's energy. You're waiting for something to be illuminated to you with the sun card. And then you'll be able to take action and get busy. You're waiting for a sign from the universe. Because right now with this um, double card energy, you feel like things are toxic. You want to go, but you can't leave or you're not leaving and you're waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for a sign from the universe. You're waiting. You're not taking action. This is your energy. I don't feel anyone else's energy here. I just feel like you're not taking action towards something because you're you're either over um thinking it or you could you haven't really decided on if that's the move that you want to make because you could be in trans transformation going through some type of transformation or transition right now with that death card spirit what other message do you have for the sign of aquarius Both of these cars came out in a reverse. Rewards for effort, recognition, and success in a reverse. <laughs> You're not taking action. It's, it's keep saying the same thing. Creativity, security, motherly, and abundance in a reverse. Because you're not taking action. Can I get one more card for my Aquarians? <clears throat> Okay, two more came out, so I'll take them. Uh, 
Okay. So we got going at it alone. Listen to inner wisdom. Inner reverse. You're waiting for spirit to give you clarity on which way to go. But I feel like because you haven't made this decision. And I feel like spirit already told you what to do. And you, you, you didn't obey or listen because I'm looking at this moon. I feel like that's the moon. Yeah. It's light though. So that is um enlightenment or um yeah, some type of enlightenment that was given to you. I feel like you you didn't uh you didn't you didn't listen to your inner wisdom and spirit is saying you need to move on and leave something behind in order for something to end and a new start to begin. So, Aquarius, this is your reading for the week of November 30th to December the 7th. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, and subscribe. If you haven't, hit the notification bell. Be safe out there. I'm sending love, light, peace, and healing energy to you as well as your family. Um, thank you for watching. Enjoy your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.